Space, a man who I think highly of, and I'm sure all of you do as well. You know him as the host of Sunday Open House, of great entertainment, but he has a background that is fascinating to many, and perhaps we'll find out some interesting things you didn't know. Frank Averish. How are you, Frank? I'm fine. Delighted it's, to be here. It's too. great to have you here because, uh, as we were talking at the top of the show, I haven't been a part of the family that long, and there are things I'd love to know about. Uh, your involvement as Bozo was very special. How did it begin? Well, actually, uh, it began, I did a, the children's show. We tried to, at that time, UNICEF did a trick-or-treat campaign. They still do. But it was new, and uh, aside from entertaining the kids, we decided to translate in visual terms where the pennies and the nickels and dimes that the kids would collect. So one of the producers thought it would be a good idea to actually go over to Asia, where some of the, uh, some of the children lived, and see what milk means and what medicine can do. And sometimes here in America, our youngsters take things for granted. Mm. So it was a chance for us to do that, and we did that under the auspices of UNICEF. And uh, we traveled for seven weeks all over Asia. We were in India and Burma and Thailand, the Philippines, all over, and visited right in the back in the country where there was really deprivation and poverty, things that you just never realized. And for me, it was an eye-opening experience. And because of that, I remained involved with UNICEF to this day. We have a clip of that. But, you know, I, I think about how much you have to give of yourself yeah. in order to translate that to children of the yeah. world. You really were a goodwill ambassador. Yeah, it was. Well, well I think Danny Kay maybe takes a little, a little bit. He's doing it. Uh, he did it there. But I did it, uh, uh, I guess, in this area. And for many, uh, our films and our tapes were translated into various languages. Uh, we traveled not only to Asia, then eventually we did another series. We went to South America, to Peru, and to Paraguay. And it was, very, it was a very exciting and thrilling feeling for me to meet kids in the clown costume and, and entertain them and see that laughter is truly a universal language. It, it really sure is. is. Can we take a look at sure. Frank Avrish in Asia right. as Bozo? All right. I guess this one here... It's a very strange sight to see me in some of the things. And here I worked a little bozo magic uh, uh, at the garden. This is the Shalimar Gardens. We went to the Taj Mahal. Many of the sites that you read about only in history books. And, and we, I mean, the cooperation we got from the people, the countries and the governments in other countries was, was amazing. Here they turned off the fountains and then they turned them on for us at that particular time. And everywhere we went, at first people were a little, you know, uh, astounded and amazed when they saw this guy with the big shoes and the big red hair and the funny nose come in. But then pretty soon we found we could make friends very easily. And here was just a piece. We did this documentary. This was called Bozo's Adventures in Asia, uh, which is still being uh, used as part of the UNICEF library and to show kids what UNICEF is doing in other parts of the world. What a way to translate uh, love and information to children to dress the, the as what, a clown. Yeah, and one of the exciting things, we went to this place here, and you'll probably see <laughs> that the blues, you can see this was done in the 60s, I should, should mention, and there's WHDH and uh, Channel 5 is on the thing. But these, uh, this was done in uh, Thailand, where we entertained, and at one point, I don't know it was in Thailand, I think it was in Maryland, we had 10,000 kids coming out to see both, so we were covered by television. It was a, a major happening, a major event, very exciting for me. You're still very involved, Frank, aren't you, yeah. with UNICEF? I'm on, on the executive board of UNICEF, and I, I believe in what they do. UNICEF uh, knows no, it's apolitical, if you will, in the countries, because we go in and we help the countries, but we don't help them completely. We try to assist them, but they have to want us to come in. UNICEF. Well, I know whenever you work with children uh, anywhere in the world, there are touching moments. Yeah. Can you think of any to share with us? Uh, well, this, the one, I guess, that happened in the second series we did, we went to South America, and there was young, a youngster, we, as this one was an overall glimpse, the Bozo's Adventure in Asia, where we followed Bozo on his tours. But this one, we zeroed in on one youngster and what life was like for him. And I was amazed, because this was in the backwoods of, of Peru, up in the, in the ponds where the Incas once, once lived. And this is a kid who lived in mud huts, literally mud huts. We went into the hut, and, and the things that we take for granted, you know, these kids don't school buses, they walk to school. And I, it gave me a feeling and appreciation of some of the things that we have in this country that we unfortunately take for granted too many times. Well, if you could bring that to every young child mm. in this nation. And you know? hopefully that's what we try to accomplish. When I did, I did this for 12 years. Can you imagine that? Isn't that something? What years. a commitment.